I'm Lisa Carter and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about hind leg handling and safety. Um, a couple of days ago something I saw just really got me on my soapbox and what I saw was a picture on the internet of somebody doing stretches with hind legs that were just completely what I thought very unsafe. They were standing directly behind the horse and pulling the hind leg towards them like this and if that horse decided it didn't like that that person would have got a full face full of hoof um, and could have easily died or just ended up in the hospital at the very least so I wanted to talk a little bit about when you're doing your stretches for your hind legs what is the best position to do that for your own safety and for your horse's safety and um, just general moving around the hind end. Basically you want your horse to see where you're at at all times, to know that you're there. So I always want to have my hand, you know, kind of on him and be close to the horse. So he, if he decided he was going to kick, I wouldn't get the full force of that. It would be more likely to just push me away or do a glancing blow. He can't get the full power of the kick um, if you're in close. The further away you are, the harder that hoof can land. So make sure that you're in close to the body and let them know where you're at. So I'm going to always keep a hand on him when I'm moving around his back end. Again, I'm going to try and move him over if he's going to cooperate. I'm going to ask him to take a step back. And I'm going to run my hand down his leg to let him know what I'm going to ask. And he lifted that right up for me. And a lot of times you'll have horses that will paw or pull their leg away from you, especially with their hind leg, because this is a death spot for them. And um, if he tries to jerk the leg, just go with it with your hand, stay in close. And you can see I'm kind of supporting his hock with my elbow, and then I'm supporting his uh, fetlock area, or the uh, pastern area. And I'm gonna ask him to stretch back this way. So I'm facing the same way that I want the hoof to go. That way, if he decided to kick out, I'm not in the way. And the way I'm holding the, the leg if he decided to go sideways with that leg, it would push me out of the way instead of just smack him straight into me. A lot of times you'll find um, horses are real reluctant to take these uh, back legs back. And one thing that I've noticed is very helpful in relaxing them is to just take my hand, my thumb, and just rub in the back of the pastern. And for some reason, it gets them to just kind of relax that leg. Um, instead of just jerking it back, they'll relax into that. And I'll just gently stroke that and ask them to take it back as far as they will take it, not as far as I want to take it. That's a good way to injure the horse and injure yourself. Um, I always just take it back as far as they will let me and then hold. And every time I do that, they'll get a little bit better and take it a little bit further back as they get used to the stretch. So don't take it and just force it as far back as you can get them to take it. So in closing, if there's one thing that I would like for you to take away from this um, video is to make sure you stay close when you're dealing with really any part of the body. You want to be close to the horse to minimize the impact um, of a blow. If they something happens, they get scared or if they feel threatened in any way. Um, and then the second thing is make sure that you're facing the way that you're wanting the hoof to go. I see too many times people have the hoof facing them rather than them facing whichever way that hoof is going to be going. So it, it just makes it safer for you it's easier to do the stretch. It's more effective to do the stretch that way. And the horse, um, just they, 
they pick up what you're trying to do, they know that you're supporting them, and I think it just makes them feel a little bit more comfortable with how you're handling their legs. Um, you just have a little bit more control over the situation when you do it that way. So hopefully these little tips have helped you, and um, as always, if you have any questions, you can always uh, visit my Facebook page at Heavenly Gates Equine Massage, or um, contact me via the website at heavenlygatesequinemassage.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.